Blimey, the internet's a bit slow tonight. I hope this is going to work. So I shall hang on a minute and let a few of you find me. I'd completely forgotten I was doing this tonight and <laughs> until until um, Anya reminded me. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm live tonight and I've forgotten all about it. So hence being a little bit late evening. So I've got four of you. Come and say hi. I'll let a few more of you join. Um, oh dear, I'm doing the wrong bit. Um, I'll let a few more of you join before I start saying too much. So how's your, how's your week been? So first week back at work and supposed to be school for kids and oh welcome to lockdown three in Britain. I think we're all getting just a tad tired of coronavirus aren't we? So let's so say hi to a few people. Hi Michelle, hi Di, uh, hello Lisa. I had a lovely Christmas and New Year, thank you Di. How about you? Hi Maddie. Yes, it was a lovely um, Christmas and New Year, regardless of the restrictions. It was nice and we had a, yeah, had a break um, and had a bit of a break over Christmas. I haven't had much of one. I know I've been off, I was supposed to be off for a month, but <laughs> I haven't, you know me, I haven't had a lot of time off to myself. I've uh, been going stuff on, going on stuff, stuff going on in the background. Right, let me say hello to people. Uh, so, hello, Christina. Happy New Year. Long time no see. So have you guys, or did you guys all have a good Christmas and New Year? Did you manage to make the most of it? You know, I think we in the UK knew we were heading for another lockdown when um, as we could get together at Christmas. Oh my God, there's been so many changes. It's enough to drive you bonkers, to be, to be fair here, but there we go. Hi Meryl, how are you? <laughs> Maddie's peed off with it. Yeah, I could actually say an awful lot worse, Maddie, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I did that in the last video because somebody really cheesed me off. Well, more than one cheesed me off. We were getting spammed, weren't we? Oh, my God, that annoyed me. So I do apologise for my language because I always got really cross. Um, but hey-ho. So, let's have a look. Uh, what's, what's I saying? It's quiet. I have only two weeks of quarantine. But I'll take it you're okay then, Di. Yeah, I think we all had a, you know, I think we've had a, this, you know, this last 12 months, we've had a lot of firsts, haven't we? Our first was to actually have Christmas on our own. We've never, ever had Christmas on our own in the 28 years or so, or 27 or so years we've been together. We've always had a house full. And so actually it was nice to be on our own, actually. Um, my son and his girlfriend turned up unexpectedly Christmas night, which was lovely to see them for a couple of hours and playing um, board games and stuff. That was really nice because we don't normally, you know, didn't, didn't expect to see them. Yeah, exactly. It's getting off off work for a bit, isn't it? That's what that's, that's what we all like. So, happy new year to everybody. If I haven't said happy new year to you, I do hope twenty twenty one is easier on us than maybe twenty twenty was. Um, do you have your cards? Oh, where are mine saying that? Oh God, what have I done with my cards? <laughs> Thinking they were up here. I've got every, I've got everything else in. No flaming cards. Oh shit, where are they? Well, that's no bloody good, is it, Caroline? Bear with me, I'll go and find my cards. I thought they were on the I thought they were on, on the shelf behind me. Oh bugger. See, completely disorganised. I am sorry. Hang on, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm back. I have my cards. Thankfully, they're only next door in the office and not all the way downstairs. So, oh gosh, people, have, people are going down with COVID. I know, I know. It's um, it's just a bit hideous, isn't it? So. About people that are going down with COVID and feeling ropey and all this kind of thing. So it's great. It's, it's not great at all, is it, for any of us? Especially with this new variant that's around. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's today, Serena. Hi, Linda. How are you, my love? Um, <coughs> so, 
so have you got your cards so if you haven't got them i'll, I'll hang on a sec so so those, for those of you that want to that, that do this live with me um go and grab your cards i'll just take mine out of the box and um oh um in other in other in other news um the cards were the cards were out of stock they had them on amazon and obviously some retailers have had the cards um but the cards were out of stock in the uk at the main at the main warehouse they are back they came back in stock today hallelujah thank you dragons um so yeah so we have um we have cards back in stock in the uk again now so that's really cool because i've not got many left i've only got what well, was behind me there which is what about 10 decks um i've only got five calendars left as well and they're on sale actually in the shop uh, on my on the shop on my website they're on sale i think they're nine or ten quid or something uh, so if anyone wants so there's only five of those so if anybody wants to grab a quickly grab a dragon calendar which is behind me got mine up um they are nine quid for those of you that haven't got one otherwise and that's it till next year right then so have you gone and got your cards because we need to do this we'll do this um little ritual on how to make your cards yours so let's have a look at comments and things okay so hi jan how are you so um with this with this deck and i may well have said this before where's my other deck gone oh god here we see i'm not organized at all tonight what am i like So, with, when, when I produced this deck, which is the same as this one, but just rebranded, um, I was really amazed at how the energy in these, you know, sort of came through the through the publishing and through the printing process, and it was no, it was fabulous. And the same and the same thing has happened with this deck, and you know, because so often when you buy a deck, you need to cleanse them and you need to make them yours and da 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 da. -da, -da. And the, the energy behind these is, is actually really quite quite high. The vibe is the vibe has actually managed to stay with the deck. I was really surprised because obviously it's been taken over by a publishing house, and even though they're they're a fantastic and a really really lovely bunch, I just wonder because there's sort of more people involved if it would actually change the energy of the cards in any way. And ultimately, it hasn't. The amount of people that have said, to, you know, have come to me and messaged me or commented or whatever, and have said, "My God, they're really high vibe energy cards." It, I just think that's it's incredible, and that sort of testament to my publisher that they've done such a fantastic job of keeping the energy and integrity of the cards intact. Because I mean, we all work with energy, don't we? You know, whether you're reading or whatever you're doing, you're working with energy, and. I think it's really fabulous that the energy that and the intent that Tiris and I put into making this, creating this deck, has actually stayed through a, a, a revamp and a rebrand going through with my publishers. Um, <clears throat> but saying saying that, what um I do want to say to you no know, say to you that if you really want to create and make your your deck yours. There's a little ritual that um, I'd like to do with you. And this goes for any deck, not just my deck. This goes for any deck that you've got and, and, and caring for, for decks in general. So it's a bit of a, but it's one of those kind of talks, really. Oh, I've got dirty glasses and I've got a spot on my glasses. <laughs> oh, dear. Never mind. Anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Aha, Jan Mo. Um, the cards are back in stock in the UK. They are on Amazon as well, if you're in the UK. They are on also available all over the world on Amazon, um, unless you're in Australia, and they'll be released on the fifteenth of January, I believe. Um, Happy New Year! So lovely to see you. So what I want you to do is just first of all is pop to pop your cards down if you've got them, and just take a minute, says she, to catch your breath. So just close your eyes. And just allow yourself to breathe for just a minute. Because you want you don't want to set all that you know buzzy, fizzy, mad, scattered energy into your cards. So just pop your cards down. And if you had a bit of a day of it, you know, you don't want to put that into your cards. So you need to be in a, a sort of a, a centered and calm 
space for you to, to do this. Hokai. So just, just ground. And just connect to the breath. And just allow your mind to settle a little bit. Just allow, you know, all the the whooshiness of the day to ah, let go. Because that's got no part in what we want to do tonight. And it's, you know, no, it has no part in your, in your readings or anything else. Okay, so when you're just feeling a bit calm, and if you need to take another couple of really deep breaths and just go... Let it out, do. I'm not going to rush this. Obviously, I can't see you, so I can't see how far you're, what you're doing. So, <clears throat> okay. So, when you're ready, just pick up your cards. And um, what I'd say is just hold them, sort of. Like a bit like a prayer, really. So hold them between, take them out of the box, or and just sort of hold them between your hands, a bit like you would when you don't drop them everywhere like I'm about to. Um, and just sort of hold them between between your hands, or a heart, a heart level, roughly. And this is really, really simple. It doesn't need to be convoluted and long-winded. Oh. I've missed something. I've missed a step. Silly Billy me. <laughs> That's going to go gonna be the theme of the evening. Caroline's going to be a twat. Right, bear with me because I need a match. Um, what you may want to do, <laughs> one I prepared earlier in good old Blue Peter fashion, is actually, don't set fire to your cards, is actually um, give them a bit of a cleanse. God, I'm being a complete tit tonight. Oh, I am sorry. Right. Is actually do a bit of a cleanse for the cards. Now, you, I'm using um, San Paolo. San Paolo. It's, mine's nearly finished. I'm nearly burnt out, actually, for San Paolo. So, so if you use, you know, you can use smudge, you can use intention, you can use white light, you can use absolutely anything you like. But you want to give them, if you want to cause give them a bit of a, so they're completely back to a neutral state, is just give them a bit of a cleanse. You sort of waft them through the, Oh, here comes Molly. Hello, Molly. Hello, Molly. What are you doing? You're gorgeous. So give them a bit of a waft through the smoke. Um, and just with the and just setting the intention as you do so that they're they're cleansed, they're clear, that they're almost like if you like a, a blank a blank slate. You haven't people sometimes think that when you're you know you're um doing this kind of thing what you're doing is you're taking out bad vibes and putting in good well that really couldn't be further from the truth because what you're doing here with this is actually you're bringing them back to a neutral state so you're not charging them you're not imbuing them with anything what you're actually doing is just bringing them back to a natural and clean state Okay, so there's no sort of positive vibes or anything with this. I'm going to go out, aren't I? Um, and that just sort of gives, brings them back to that, that kind of state. Now, obviously, that's, that's San, San Paolo, but you can use um, white sage, sacred sage, whatever you want to call it. You can use things like I've got Nag Champa. That one is... Um, uh, incense that one's just a normal nag champa uh is that the is that the gold one i don't know which one it is um dragon's blood obviously <laughs> is great for dragon cards so any anything like that you can use for cleansing um for cleansing your cards but you can use white light you can use intention you can use the breath you can use any anything you like it doesn't matter what you do it's the intention that it's the intention that's important so whenever you do anything like this, it's always worth making sure, like we did just now, in that calm and settled state before you start. <clears throat> okay. 
and just bring them back to a completely blank blank canvas. Um, so any, any yeah anything anything like that will do. So Mandy's saying, can she can you blow on them? Absolutely. It doesn't matter what you use. It's the intention behind it is what's key. Okay. So once you've cleansed your cards, and you, now you might want to do it a couple of times, like I'm doing here, having a shuffle, and then you know put them maybe uh, sort of spread them out, and just do it a couple of times. You do whatever you feel is is right. Now these haven't really been used for readings other than what I've done online because obviously I've been in lockdown most of 2020. Um, so have I gone out? Yeah, I've gone out, so I can't do that. So you know, just give a bit of a waft around. Um, now, so once your cards are cleansed with however you want to cleanse them, I wouldn't advise putting them in water, though. that's probably not a plan. Um, oh dear, dear, what am I doing? That's it. Once they're cleansed, we'll go back to the step I was at just now. Yeah, anything like that. Yeah, mugwort, cedar, frankincense. It, you know, it doesn't matter. If there's something you particularly like the smell of, anything like that, there is no right and wrong. It's what works for you, okay, and what you, what you like and what you want to do. So now we've got that bit done. We've got so the cards cl cards cards are, are are all cleansed. They're back to a neutral state. So they're not carrying any any kind of energy at all. What we want to do now is energize them, but make but also make them yours, okay. I do. I have to teach my dog to shut the door. She's left the door wide open. My feet are cold now. So, <clears throat> as you were before, <laughs> sorry, cards in a sort of a prairie type position. However, you want to just do it that way around. Oh, I can't. I wonder what I'm doing here. That way around will do. That's it. Um, so, in a prairie type position. And just take them to a heart level. Okay. And just, and just close your eyes. And focus on now. You, again, you can charge them if you use Reiki or anything like that. You can you can you know envisage Reiki coming down through the top of your head, down into into your palms with your hands to your cards. You can bring in white light again to do the same thing. But of course, we're working with dragons, so you could also call your dragon tribe in, your clans in to ask you to work with the cards to for guidance for support for whether you're doing readings for you or for other people it doesn't matter but ask the you know <clears throat> the cards are imbued with with guidance obviously highest intention integrity and all that kind of stuff so just close your eyes holding your your cards in between your hands at a heart at a heart level and just ask your your guides Dragon guides, tribe, to come in, to guide you with readings, to create these cards, to make them yours, whatever words you want to use, to charge and bless them, and that they are always used with integrity honesty but also gentleness because we know the dragons can be a bit direct and just feel you know, if you want to feel white light or imagine the white light coming in your reiki healing energy coming in and just charging the cards Just feel it flowing in and making this deck yours with your intention, your love, or any other words you want to use. If you just want to take that up to your third eye, so obviously a lot of us use our, our third eye and our clairvoyance. And so you're connecting heart to third eye, third eye to heart. And that we always work from that place with the cards, with any cards we use, but particularly with the dragons, that we work 
from a heart level, but with clarity. And that's it. That is exactly all you've got to do. And you can do that as often as you like, as many times as you like. You know, if you want to do it, it's always worth you know giving your cards a, a cleanse after you've been been doing the reading. If you just go, just tap them. Doesn't matter. When I'm doing reading at fairs and things like that, I just tend to do that. I tend to not mind it to knock uh, the energy of the previous person off the card. It be the banger on the table or knock them like that. It doesn't matter. And if you've been having a busy day of readings and you use them a lot, it's it's always worth giving them a bit of a cleanse at the end of the day in any way you like. And then if you want to just reaffirm your connection at a heart level with them, once you cleanse them, you can. Once you've done this, these cards are yours for life. You've made that connection with your dragons with them. You've asked them to come in and support your readings and guidance. But you know, if you want to feel that you need to do it again or you want to do it again, absolutely you know you, you can do this there's no right or wrong again to any of this it's what feels right for you and how you want to work with your cards and treat and treat your cards really uh but care of the cards um people often say oh you know how do i look after my cards i keep mine in the box apart from my tarot because the boxes tend to be too big so my tarot cards i tend if i'm at home they just sit on the shelf with a crystal on top um, but if I'm going away and I'm working away doing haha, readings when we don't have lockdowns, they just go into a, 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 a bag that I've got from a tarot card and each each one is you know kept separately. And that's how I, I travel with my tarot cards. But otherwise, mine live in the box. That's, that's how I look after mine. I tend not to leave them. I tend not to leave my oracle cards out of the box. But my, my tarot cards, I do. So it's a bit of a bit of a strange way of doing things. But that's purely because of practicalities. Because the size of tarot boxes, they tend to be much bigger, don't they? They tend to be sort of this size. And they're not, not this sort of normal sensible size of a... <laughs> you can stick on a handbag if you need to with your oracle cards. So that's all how, how I look after my cards. Um, so there's nothing complicated. It doesn't have to be hard. And don't overthink it. With anything like this with the cards, is really don't overthink it. Do what you feel is right for you. And just follow that intuition. Your dragons will guide you and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, just, just go with, with what feels right at any given time. Now, for those of you that um, don't know, I've got a workshop coming up. I've got two workshops coming up. One next Tuesday night and one, I think, on the 23rd. I've actually taken the 30th of January off. I don't think I need to do all three. So I've taken the 30th of January off. So I've got two workshops coming up on how to how to work with and read with these cards for yourself and other people, which is a bit of a, you know, a bit, bit more in depth of how you, for me, you've obviously got the book. But uh, if you'd like to, you know, have uh, have some practice readings with other people, know more about the clans, how they all link together, what happens when you get sort of certain amount of, you know, clans in one reading, what the impact that has on has on the reading, what's the overall feeling of that. So I've got I've got um, those two workshops coming up. One's next Tuesday, and the next one's the following. I can't say Saturday or Sunday. It's the twenty third, anyway. So I think um, I think Anya's around somewhere. Oh, she's done it, lover. <laughs> Anya was going to put the link up. So if you'd like to join me on either of those two workshops, then you know there, there's space on. Of course, we're on Zoom, so there's loads of space. Uh, and then you get to practice doing practice readings on other people as well. So if you're a bit nervous about reading for other people it's a really safe space to have a go at, at practice readings and you have and I, I don't insist that you've got to use your intuition and you've got to connect the dragons we've got a guidebook and if you're a bit nervous about oh I don't know if I can do this you know the guidebook is there to help you and we and you make use of it and it's all about you it's about you creating confidence with the cards uh, so it's you know entirely up to you how you how you read and you know, whether you're a professional reader or, or just starting out on your dragon journey or, or reading journey, you know, it's, it's there for you to, to, to gain confidence and actually gain trust in, in yourself and actually speaking to other people about, about the deck and things and you know, what, you're, what you may be feeling and all this kind of thing. So we talk about all of that stuff on the workshop, about feelings, about any sort of uh, ideas that you may get or thoughts that pop into your head, all that kind of stuff we cover 
and then obviously we look at the colours of the cards and the dragons and the clans and all the rest of it. So um, there we go. So that's, that's a bit about the workshop. Hawkeye. So let's have a look at some of your comments. Um, oh no, Di, that's not great. I've got to say, Di, I'm not doing readings tonight. I'm sort of doing readings um, probably sort of once a month-ish. Um, but I'm not doing readings tonight, darling. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I know I'm a bit mean. I'm being mean. I'm no, but there we go. Hi, Sherry. How are you? So, so Susan felt her cards vibrate slightly. Fantastic. Because there can be real energy to these cards. When we connect into them, there can be a real, like a, a like a power, almost like a power surge. Get in with them. Amazing. Um, so Maddie said she felt a sensation in her third iron crown. Fantastic. Oh, Ruby says she's good. Jan says she's going to look at the um the workshop. Fabulous, lovely to have you. Cool, absolutely. And, you know, follow your intuition. If it feels right, if it speaks to you, you go, oh yeah, that sounds good. You know, just follow that intuition. Absolutely. Yes, the twenty third. I think. I think you're right, Michelle. Okay. So has anybody got any questions on? The cards or the deck or anything else or any questions about using them just while I'm here. Otherwise, I will. Oh, hi, Lynn. I didn't see you, darling. Um, I will I will clear off. So I, I type any questions you've got while I just flick through the comments and make sure I haven't missed anybody, which is I'm really good at doing that. Oh, you've got... Clear wisdom skulls, they're nice, aren't they? That wisdom skull deck. I don't even know where that deck is. That's actually she might be, be behind me actually somewhere. I don't know what, where I've put that even. Um that's a lovely deck, those crystals, that crystal skull deck. Fabulous. Uh no, I think I've said hello to everybody now, and I've not missed anybody out. Good stuff. If I have missed you not said hello, I do apologise. Um Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, cards are hot like fire, absolutely. So remember, actually, on that note, Serena, probably actually a good point, is once you've finished with working with the cards, because you may want to do this again in a minute when you, in your own time, um, remember to switch your Reiki off. <laughs> you know, so you, because the minute you start working and doing any of this kind of stuff, you know, you light up, your, your, your chakras will start activating and everything else. So it's so because my hands are my hands are fizzing quite nicely. Um, so actually remember <laughs> to close down, switch your Reiki off or whatever it is that you do to um, cl to close down and, and really stop working. All right. So that's it. So of course, now I've just said about stop working. I can just feel myself going and my hands are my hands are cooling down. So. There we go. So there, because of, you know, as the minute you start doing this, you see, I'm going to start it off again now. The minute you do this, you see, you activate, you activate your energy, you activate your Reiki or whatever you use. So, because it, it's, it's, I don't know why it happens, but it does happen. And of course, you activate at, at your heart level. You're working, you know, you're working immediately at heart level. You're up here, you're working maybe at you know, high heart or throat, depending on where you, where you put your hands. Um, could you say you're activating, you're putting your body on notice. It's like, okay, work time. So, uh, room to close, room to close down. How do you use what, Sherry? What, the cards? So how, if you haven't got a deck, there's, that, that's what the workshop's about, is how to use the cards. So, that's, you know, it's because the, the, within the book, within, within the guidebook, there's a bit of history about the cards, about how to use them, the clans. There's little spreads in there, that kind of thing. Um, obviously an index. Um, so you've got clans and dimensions. Uh, how the dragons can help you. Um, then there's meet, meet about meet the. Where am I going? Oh, for goodness sake! Oh dear, meet the meet the dragon clans. And then there's um, I don't know how many spreads there are. Three spreads. Got daily guidance spread, month ahead spread. Four seasons spread, and that's a bit of a convoluted one. Let's say four seasons and a spiritual seeker spread. So there's four different spreads in there on how to how to use the cards, how to lay them out. If I go over the page, so there's sort of that one, <clears throat> and it tells you sort of what each 
kind of the cards one, two, and three, what they represent. And then you look up the dragon that that um, falls under that category of one, two, or three, or depending on what card you spread you're using. Like that's the four seasons. So there's four cards, five cards in there. I can't count. And so you look up the corresponding the corresponding number of what the, what it rep, what the number represents then ties in with the dragon does that does that make sense okay oh platinum keeps jumping it out okay so there's some work to do so oh there's some violet flame work to do that now that reminds me um because there was a, i did a live well what a while back now and I was, we were talking about workshops and things, weren't we? And Caroline, oh, yeah, Caroline Lewis was, um, I think Caroline Lewis was on watching. She's, anyway, she's since had her baby and she does violet flame stuff. So she may well come, she said once baby's born and they're settled and they were also moving. Um, once that they were settled, um, we would get together and we'd organise a Facebook live for her talking about the violet flame so that's thank you for the little nudge there with with um platinum because he works with the violet flame so of course violet flames about transmutation all that kind of thing and platinum also connects in with the new chakra colors so that's quite interesting which um which is all quite interesting you certainly can use um sage to to cleanse your cards uh, bianca i tend to where's mine gone i, I quite often use i quite often use sage i've, I've started using um San Paolo, because it's not quite as smoky. It doesn't set my smoke alarms off upstairs. <laughs> That's why I tend to use San Paolo, San Paolo, because it goes out quicker. Whereas with sage, you've got to keep bashing it to go out, and then the whole house is filled with, with sage smoke, and then the dogs start sneezing and whatever. But yeah, you can use anything to, to cleanse your cards. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Ruby's excited. Um, Sherry, it really depends what, what, you're, what you're into, um, uh, Sherry. It's, you know, obviously you've got the, the dragon, you've got the dragon deck. Um, now these are back in stock, which is really useful, back in stock in the UK anyway. Uh, but it depends what your, what your um, leanings are really. It's do you, you know, do you like angels? Do you like um, fairies? Do you want tarot? It's obviously a lot more complicated than Oracle. Because there's 78 cards to a tarot deck. Then there's the four suits. And then you've got 14 to a suit. Then you've got the 22 major arcanas. So I think it's 78 cards in the tarot deck, if I can add up right. Um, so that's a much more complicated system to use and takes a lot of years. You, you, you're, a, you're a student of the tarot for all the, time, for all the years that you read. <clears throat> I don't think anybody ever knows the tarot completely. We're always learning from it. And I've been reading 25 years. Um, so it you know, depends whether you want what I've got up here. Hang on, bear with me. Let's have a look at some of my... Uh, this isn't my complete um, oracle collection, but it's some of it. So it really depends on what you're interested in. Oh, hold on. So you've got... Uh, let's just bring some of these over. I've probably knocked this whole lot flying now along the nights, haven't I? Right. So... You're still on, Linz. Oh, Sarah's got the original deck. Yeah. So it really depends what you like. Now, obviously, I've got um, a couple of different tarot, a couple, a couple of different dragon decks. Now, Lindsay that was on just now, her and her daughter created these a few years ago. They're dragon guidance cards. And how many cards are in here, Linz? Is it 60-something, isn't it? I don't know if it says how many cards are in there. No, I don't know how many cards. But so these are um these are sort of Lindsay channeled these. And Tassia drew all of these. Tassia does a lot of my artwork, not for my dragon cards, but a lot of my other artwork. And Tass drew these when she was very young. Um she was only about sort of twelve or thirteen. So these are sort of daily guidance cards, if you like. So she does some amazing artwork. I think she's only only a youngster when she did it. She's only in her twenties now. Um, and her but her artwork is quite incredible. Those, those two actually Tassia did as well. Those two pictures behind me, Tassia did as a as a, as a growed up. So there's there's those dragon dragon cards, um, which are Lindsay's. Um, then you've got the mermaid and dolphin cards by Doreen Virtue. I don't know how much of Doreen Virtue stuff still in print. It's obviously because she's since um, 
uh, left her contract with Hay House and she's, what's the word I want? Renounced all of her new age and spiritual work because she's found God again. So you've got, then you've got the Mermaid and Dolphin deck by Doreen Virtue. You've got um, Healing with the Angels. Which I actually probably hardly ever use this deck now um, with Doreen Virtue. Then you've also got Diana Cooper's Dragon deck. Um, try to come Diana Cooper's Dragon deck. You can have a bit of Dorian Virtue fan at one time. Look, um, the Ascended Masters, that's a really nice deck, actually. The Ascended Masters deck with Dorian Virtue. Um, this is another, this is a slightly different Ascended Masters deck. This is by, um, oh my god, Heaven, 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 Crystal Heaven. This is from, uh, yeah, Cut Company. These, are, these were um, indie published by, by Crystal Heaven. Again, these actually these are a really nice deck. Actually, I like these. Very very simple meanings. There's no book with them, uh, and these are these are that's all you've got on the that's what you've got. So this is very much use your intuition, connecting with the ascended masters. There's not many of them. There's only what one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only about eighteen cards in the entire deck. They're 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 big, but they're incredibly colourful. So we've got Ma Maya Treya. Um, You've got Jesus in this one. I love the artwork in these. You've got Moses, that one. And you've got Serapis Bay. These, these are actually really big cards to handle. So if you're new to cards, do think about that. Okay, um, who else? What else have I got here? Um, Clear's cards, obviously, are fantastic. The Crystal Skull Wisdom cards are obviously they're my, my new, my new favourites, other than mine, of course. Um, Put that away. So these are these are these are very very new to the market. These only came out in December. These are produced by um, or they're channeled by Lady Called Clear, and the photography is by uh, Philippe, who owns the Hen Shop. So I'll just quickly show you a couple of these. Um, and these are these are all two crystal skulls. So then you've got. So if, you, if the crystal skulls give you the creeps, obviously these aren't for you. Um, but yeah, so there's 40, 40 odd cards in this deck. Um, and there's a couple of dragons in here as well. Clear's got a couple of dragons in. So that's the crystal skull cards. Again, they've got amazing messages in them. Again, with a good with a guidebook. So that's all a bit cool. Um, and then we've got I've got the last two that are up here is the um the shaman's oracle now that's actually a bit convoluted to use I've, I've looked at it a couple of times and um it is something i will sit down with and work with at some point but it's you need i need time to sit and um use it because it is a bit more convoluted than this than the standard oracle and it's got quite a big book with it i don't know how many cards are in here but they've got um you've got some nice really nice little pictures and and things and and whatever so it really depends there's so many oracle cards on the market it really depends what you're drawn to is the um long and the short of that one so i, I would go and have a look around amazon if i were you and when the shops are open again in certainly in the uk i would go around the new age shops and the crystal shops and that that sell oracle cards and just see what they've got and a lot of shops have decks shop copies that you can look at because all when you buy them they're sealed decks aren't they normally so uh there we go so serena needs a violet flame don't we all yeah so there we go so that's that's all that's it from me it was just to come on and you know say hi so i hope i've answered your questions about oracle oracle cards and um i look forward to seeing some of you on the workshop on either the 23rd or the 12th that would be really awesome. And um, I'm going to love you and leave you. So remember to close down if you haven't done already. And uh, I will see you all soon. I don't know what I'm next on. I'll, 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 I'll appear at some point and come on and say hi and, and, and what love, what, what not. So big love to you all. And I'll catch you later. Bye, guys. See ya.